Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Fabrizio, and I'm the partnership manager of um, Commerce Layer. What is Commerce Layer? Um, uh, Commerce Layer is an Atlas Commerce platform and an order management system. And uh, thanks to its Atlas nature, uh, the idea is that you can uh, pretty much add global shopping capabilities to any sort of user experience you have in mind. So it could be a website, it could be a mobile app, a chatbot, um, it, it could be a video, actually you name it. And, uh, and all of these uh, in a very, very simple and effective way. So as our product uh, um, is an Atlas commerce platform, of course, the core um, of commerce layer is its API. So uh, we offer a quite extensive range of endpoints uh, um, to manage all the different aspects um, of, uh, of the commerce experience. So prices, shopping, uh, cart, inventory, uh, orders, uh, and so on. So unfortunately, I cannot go through all the list uh, of, the, of the endpoints, but uh, uh, you can find them in our documentation. And uh, uh, I think it's important to um, uh, stress um, uh, the fact that Commerce Layer is an Atlas platform. And this is very true if you compare it to the um, traditional um, monolithic solution. So uh, I guess you already heard this term, a monolithic platform, but what does it mean? Actually, it means having a single platform managing all the features of, the, of your e-commerce application. So... Um, the um, think about the platform that actually manage everything. So it manage uh, the CMS, the product information management, maybe the order management system. Every everything in just one single box. Uh, these, uh, unfortunately, uh, comes with some challenges, and we try to summarize them uh, in five, let's say, main points. So the first one is that uh, such platforms are actually um, less flexible. Why? Uh, you have to think that you have just one single box where everything um, is implemented. So this means that uh, you can't change any module of your application, of your commerce application, without actually replacing everything. So this is quite a big problem. So if new uh, needs emerge uh, uh, in your business uh, that might require, I don't know, maybe a new model or a new application, uh, let's say uh, you are not, uh, I mean, your platform won't allow that without a full replatforming. So you can imagine this is quite a big problem. Um, the other problem uh, related to these um, uh, traditional um, uh, application is that uh, uh, most of the time the result is that uh, um, uh, the website build on top of those there are, are just slow. Why that? Uh, that's because uh, given the architecture uh, of those applications, uh, it's very difficult to um, uh, leverage the power uh, of uh, uh, new concepts like dedicated CDNs, for instance. And, uh, also, and, and, and as you can imagine, a slow website can be a big problem, especially if you consider, um, I don't know, things such the um, new um, Google um, algorithm for ranking uh, the core web vitals, uh, just to make an example. So being fast is definitely a competitive, a competitive advantage um, when you're selling online. Um, there are also security issues. If you have just one application and everything is, is inside that box, you have a single point of failure. So if that application fails, everything fails. This is a big problem. Um, other problem is that considering that these traditional applications are, uh, let's say, uh, have been designed quite some time ago, uh, most of the time they were built for desktop. So they don't have a really, uh, let's say, mobile first approach, for instance. And the last problem is that they are expensive. There is quite a lot in these boxes. Sometimes you don't need some of the stuff that is in these boxes, but you are anyway going to pay for all of them. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is actually to work on architectures that are modular. Uh, and this actually means splitting the monolith. So this, for instance, can be, uh, uh, let's say, um, 
an example uh, of a modular architecture based on commerce layer. So commerce layer would be the transactional engine, managing prices, stock information, checkout APIs, and customer account APIs. And around commerce layer, you will start integrating all the different services that are needed to deliver the commerce experience. So an endless CMS, for instance, a static site generator, this is very true if you're going the Jamstack direction, a deployment platform to optimize and maximize the performance, and then link a commerce layer to specific services for um, uh, the needs that you might have. So tax calculation services, payment gateways, shipping carriers, and also the legacy system like the CRM and the ERP. And what are the benefits of this approach? Well, as you can imagine, everything now is extremely flexible. You can swap in and out modules uh, very easily without doing a full replatforming. The scalability comes uh, uh, let's say um, it's much easier because now you can scale just one specific module and uh, avoid, uh, let's say, very expensive, uh, let's say, um, uh, expensive uh, upgrades of your central platform. So you can just uh, uh, selectively scale modules of your uh, of your architecture. It's more secure because now you don't have um, a single point of failure any, uh, anymore. And it's omnichannel by design because all of these modules are actually uh, has an API interface. So uh, you can connect pretty much everything, whatever touch point uh, um, you think about to this sort of architecture. And last but definitely not least is future-proof. Uh, the uh, being future proof actually relies in the fact that you can change whatever module uh, depending on your needs uh, without uh, let's say doing a full replatforming. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, in case you have any question, you can drop me a line at the um, at my uh, at my email or just book a demo of our platform at commercelayer.io/demo. Thank you very much.